So the last time that I came out fishing in our in our last video, I hit up Padre Island National Seashore and I was fishing the beach for reds and drum. Uh, I didn't strike out. I managed to bag out on a ton of whiting. We ate really good that night, but I didn't get the fish I was targeting. I have this tendency of whenever I start catching fish like that, like I don't even care what it is, I'm getting dinner and I just, I mean, I'm having fun with it. I don't care. Uh, I don't need sports fish or anything like that. I just want to have dinner that night. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of feeling that way today, but I'm going to try something different. I'm not headed out to the beach because the, uh, the surface is supposed to be very big, but the current's picked up. The wind is blowing pretty good. So I'm really not feeling the beach today. Instead, I am going to head down to the canals on the backside of Padre Island, but hopefully everything goes good and we get ourselves into some fish and we have, you know, above all, just a really good time and we get to come home with something to eat. That's the goal. Oh, we're almost there now. Let's hit it. Sorry about that. The reason I'm such a fan of this spot is because of all these bait fish down in the water right there behind me. Take a look at those guys. If there's some fish up and around here that are hungry, that's what they're going to want. They're going to be coming up in here to look at that. And the reason the bait fish are here is because with this wind pushing this direction, uh, there's a tunnel underneath the road right here from the other canal. That water's pushing through. All of that bait fish is piling up here on the calm side of it, which means everybody that's eating them is coming up from the backside over here and taking them out. I've seen some trout popping and stuff. I haven't had any hits yet, so I'm gonna change my tactics. I had this with frozen shrimp on the bottom. Perch are tearing me up, so I'm gonna put that on the top uh, with a float. And then I'm gonna change up that uh, case plastic. That thing was working. I was getting some nibbles, but it was little guys. They weren't even taking the tail off, which they typically do. Saw a couple of drum and I've seen those trout popping, so I'm going to take a crack at a different uh, soft plastic and we're going to regroup to what round two can do for us. It's a lot of bait, man. I just went to get a fresh bait and I walk up and there's about a 30 inch drum sitting right on the other side of this wall feeding on that bait. In front of him, but I'm trying to just drop it right down there for him. That's the third drum I've seen just right here. I need to figure out how I can get a bait right down there in front of him because they like the spot. guys that are messing me up, these little perch like this. I'm going to hold on to him. He might make good bait and I might even actually eat him. But this is what I want. I want that drum to keep playing with. So far, I've not yet been able to get that drum. Those little shrimp, uh, the uh, the perch that we were getting, were just eating me alive. Wow. So normally, uh, you know how I am. I'm catching a bunch of perch or whatever it is I'm catching. I'm gonna just go ahead and stock those up and eat them. We're gonna try that with perch today. 
Um, I'm catching a few. Now I did change up my bait over here. I put out a cut perch for bait on the bottom in the hopes that I could get one of those good drums. I keep seeing them swim by. I just need a bigger bait. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch up some of these perch, but I can't do it on my own. Um, just not physically capable of doing that. So I have Tim and Irma over here. They decided to pull up and give me a hand. <laughs> doing a good job. Yeah, he's, he's catching more of them than I am. So Tim and Irma here are from Arizona. They decided to stop by and they didn't know what they were gonna get themselves into. Awesome. Well, we're trying to see if we were looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I couldn't let them stop by without catching a few fish. Of course, I wasn't expecting for them to uh, be taking over my uh, my role here, but that's fine. Lunch duty. Yeah. Oh, this is so much fun. And the water's so beautiful. That's awesome. That's what it's all about. Yeah, that's why I don't like living in the desert. Let's see what you got. Too small? Oh, oh. Not for me. <laughs> okay, cut it down, buddy. Whoa, there's your drum. No, oh, oh, oh. Right there, bud. Still see him? Yeah. <laughs> this, this, is my, this is my wildest dream for my vacation. Nice. Oh, that makes my day. I'm not kidding. That you. totally makes my what day. Was the last time I, I don't know. It's all he talks about. Yeah, I just went driving by and buying magazines because it's important. <laughs> we drove by and he's like, I'm going to ask that guy what he's using for bait. I'm so glad y'all did. This yeah. is fun. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. You're doing more than that. You worked, you've been working all over California so that you could come down here and get some perch? Well, I do <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> well, you know, I'm 
69 years old. Look at all these. It's amazing. Hubba hubba. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't able to get my drum, but that's okay. I had a total blast out here. Thanks to Tim and Irma. I mispronounced it. Oh, that a, just it was fun. It was a great way to start our vacation, and we are coming back. This was awesome, Stanley. Well, I had you. a blast. I thank you guys for keeping me entertained. I'd have been sitting over here and just mm -hmm. been bored out of my mind the entire time it wasn't for you guys. I've been dreaming about this for four years. And here we are. Yeah. On a hunch, we stopped to say hello. And do, what do you, what that you, you do? That was what cool. You I've had the best day I've had in many, many, many. Oh, many, that's. Many, many, hey, I, it better not be four years before you come back. That's right. How many did we this catch? Be an annual thing. What a blast. A whole yeah. box of them. Well, you got yeah. our number. If there's a storm the next couple days, give us a call. Wow. Oh. oh my God. The bullet. Wow. Well, anyway, Stanley, <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, so exciting. Yeah, this is cool. And, thank you. And best wishes on your. Uh, hey. Endeavors here. Uh, I really Teach appreciate people that. How to enjoy our country. Yeah. Great. Get outside. Go do something fun. Get Absolutely. off the TV. Yeah. Teach your kids. Like, like watch, watch YouTube videos. But then after that, go outside. Go do something. Yeah. Don't mess with Texas. Thank you, Stanley. Yeah. Absolute pleasure. All right. Yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you pleasure. guys. And enjoy the rest of your trip. I'll give you a call if I'm able to get back in town. All right. Sure. Awesome. Y'all be safe. I really really love living down here i feel very blessed to get to do what i do it's peaceful and relaxing and it's nice to get out here on your own and commune with nature <laughs> yeah, nature but what i enjoy more than anything is the opportunity to share that experience with others that's what this is about with the mullet <laughs> As you saw in the thumbnail, this is going to be a perch catching cook, which means I need to ice those guys down and we need to get back to the house and let's go cook up some perch, huh? How do you feel about that? We're going to do a pinfish catch and cook. Let's go see what pinfish tastes like. And we are filleting our perch courtesy of Tim and Irma. Thank you guys for dinner. We really appreciate it. Appreciate it, Tim and Irma. I wish I could have met y'all. <laughs> Sorry. This is my wife, by the way. So, uh, what I didn't tell you guys, when, when we're fishing for these, these are a lot of fun to catch. I like them. It's not something, like, this isn't regular table fare for uh, anybody. <laughs> like, nobody really eats these. Well, except, here's like, the weird thing. I'm that like the only fine. one who would ever eat it. No. That's a good size fish. I'm going right to fry them like little mock like nuggets. That's gross. But I'm going to bear better fry them. These are small fillets. They're not that big. But you can see that meat, it's got, it's it's firm enough. It's, it's probably not the most firm in there. We'll, we'll find that out in just a minute when we fry it up. But it's not mushy like that skipjack was. Doesn't have a terrible bloodline to it. Uh, it's got a good light color to it. I've never actually fried this. Now, I've always made a chowder out of it, but it's... I have. It's getting late. I'm gonna let her cook these up tonight. This is gonna be her thing. I'm using it. I my little finger things. So anyway, let me show you that. We'll keep it. Sure. You just feel angry. That's fine. <laughs> we had a fight off camera here for a second we ago can... because I apparently don't have the right kind of oil to cook the fish in. We can take that fight on camera. Let's take it on camera. All right. No one I in their right to... mind would use that. Go right ahead. Continue, please. So let me show you how to flavor fish. If you're going to be terribly picky about the oil that you cook it in. Well, at least I wasn't picky about the fish you brought home, was I? <laughs> I'm just happy to have some food. If we, don't worry about the ribs, okay? No. When you skin them out, you do it just like normal, like you do everything else. But the trick for perch comes in right here. They've got bones right along here. You don't want to get any ribs or anything. So, I'm going to make a little cut right there. Bone in there, so I'm gonna cut him out. Make sure your family doesn't 
Rachel. This is going to be Rachel's filet. Got that big old bloodline in it. Got that part out right there. No that shy. takes care of any kind of bloodline that might be in there. This gets fed to the cat. And there you go. Not a terrible filet, no ribs. And if there is, we eat that. No ribs. Good little filet, not too bad. I just did like an hour of yoga to make sure that I got this again. Okay, so that we came to a slight conclusion that since it's partial canola, we're gonna go ahead and try it. Are you still off about the oil? Well, it wouldn't make sense. Oil is fine. It's not that there's anything bad about it, it's really good for you. I just don't usually make beer batter fish with an extra virgin oil for it. A, because it's super freaking expensive. And B, like that move. I like it. We gotta keep our fish wool. It's always the dry one. We had a big old thing labeled chicken and a big old thing labeled fish. Everybody does that to you, huh? No, we never did that. Oh, you only had fish. Yeah, we, we only ever eat fish. We didn't reuse oil. Well, we didn't, re we didn't reuse oil. Mm -hmm. Comment down below if you reuse oil. Do you, do you save your oil or do you reuse your oil? It, it, it tastes the best. We got our fish ready to go. Let's take a bite. Let's see how it came out. <laughs> I just, I just, I look like super crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like super crazy. <laughs> okay, so Rachel's done cooking. We're ready to eat. This is our pan fish catch and cook. Let's see how it turns out. It does. It encapsulates the heat. If you didn't know that. I'm going again. It kind of reminds me of the bass we had over here. That's trash. That was trash. No offense to Peter, his cooking was good. I am super hungry. My sentiments aren't necessary. That, it <laughs> you, I'm loving this. I'm about to turn that whole thing. Eat right, some no, before good. I go to tear it up. That came out. <laughs> uh, I'm just. I'm not even gonna weigh in. I'm, I'm just gonna start eating. All right, we're good to go. See you in the next video. What do you think? You, you know, know I like it. Already eating like a whole pan. <laughs> we okay. So the, the, okay, yeah. So to be fair, this is our second batch. The first batch went to Savannah. She's got a little bit of a headache, so she's not gonna be weighing in with us tonight. We need to get off camera because we're gonna tear into the second batch. Look, perch. It's fine. Dude, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good eating fish. Fry it up, man. It, it, it comes out just like bluegill or whiting or, or, grill it. it's fine. or bass from Lake LBJ. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. If you get yourself into a whole bunch of perch, dude, eat them up. This is a good eating fish. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Oh, this is dinner, man. Thank you so much to Tim and Irma for catching us dinner. We really appreciate you guys.